when you suffer a setback or mishap, regard it as a warning from the Gohanzen to reflect on your attitude toward faith. Otherwise, you may start complaining and soon get into bigger trouble, you might even wind up doubting your faith. But if you take it as a strict warning from the Gohanzen, you can reflect on your attitude toward faith and thank the Gohanzen for the fact that the accident wasn't serious. Then you can apologize to the Gohanzen for any past insincerity and pledge to strengthen your determination for Kosen Rufu. This is how to avert more serious accidents that might happen in the future. When something bad happens to you, no matter how trifling it may be, if you think of it as significant to your faith, you can make it a cause for happiness. On the contrary, even though something serious happens to you, if you fail to think it significant to your faith, it will become a cause for unhappiness. Therefore, check your attitude toward faith so that you can consider even a small incident as something valuable and significant. That's how you can change poison into medicine. Visible benefits are not as great as invisible benefits. In Buddhism the intangible benefits are truly great, I'm not denying the value of conspicuous benefits, but it's important to understand this point. If you fail to do so, you may think you will always receive conspicuous benefits, and if you don't, you may lose confidence in faith. We can understand the concept of conspicuous and inconspicuous benefit in terms of absolute and relative happiness. To improve one's life materially and physically is to attain relative happiness. But relative happiness, no matter how great, has nothing to do with absolute happiness, that's why we are so often told not to be swayed by superficial things in our practice of true Buddhism. When you become rich, you might lose sight of that essential something in your faith and forget about your absolute happiness. No matter what happens to you, you should continue to chant to the Gohanzen. When you feel happy, you should thank the Gohanzen for your happiness. When you feel sad, you should pray to the Gohanzen so that you can replace the sadness with joy. In any event, it is the Gohanzen alone that you can depend on. Thank you, till next time have a great day.